Welcome to Penn State. I'm your tour guide, Mason, and today we're going to talk about Old Main. It was built in 1867. Do you really care when it was built? Do you really care about when any of the buildings here were built? Do you really care about the majors of the school here? No. We're talking about what Penn State actually means as a student, from a student's perspective, what, you, what kids are actually doing here, why you want to go here. And today, we're doing the student tour, the tour my way, the tour that you need to watch before coming to this school. Let's go. Number one thing, if you're just coming to this school just to have, like, only to have fun, don't do it. This is not the place you want to be. This is a work hard, play hard environment. The classes are hard, uh, people are competitive, the classes are competitive. Penn State makes you find your best self, and if you're just here to party, I don't know. I don't know if that's, that's for you then. Go somewhere south, go to Florida or something, and just party every day. If you want to come to Penn State, you want to have a good work hard, play hard mentality, Here's what we're talking. My class hard, everyone else's class hard, everyone's competitive, everyone's trying to be better than each other. Penn State makes you find your best self. All right, this is like one of the many Penn State clothing stores. It's very school spirited. Like everyone's wearing the merch, everywhere you go during the day, like the football games, obviously, but just the class, people always wearing Penn State. School spirited, that's a positive, I'd say. Back in the day, colleges only used to know as much as a library. It's a huge library, but again, we have the internet now. Regardless, I say students go here like three times a week to study. It's a great study environment, and everyone in there, it's not social. Everyone's working, you know, and I love that. I, I don't know if that's at every college, but again, Penn State, people like to work hard. People like to study, and that's what you need in a good education. All right, yeah, this is the creamery. Pretty cool, pretty good ice cream, but again, is that your whole student life is based off? I don't know. Next thing. The, the ice cream is actually made from the cows here, which is pretty cool, I'd say, pretty pretty interesting. It's east, this is where you probably live as a freshman, and I like it, because the rooms, there's two people in each room, which is good, because you need a roommate, you get out more with the roommate, you meet more people with the roommate, and it's just a really good experience that you need in college, personally. This is our gym here, it's the IM, it's huge, and everyone comes here to work out. Great social environment, but you also want to play some badminton, some basketball, it is everything, and um, honestly, Really good, and hopefully East is right there, so as a freshman you live right there, you have the gym right here. It's, it's easy to go back and forth. They have a smoothie bar in there, and it's, it's pretty fun. Whenever you're bored, I am. That's what you do. This here, third biggest stadium in probably the world. And uh, like, it's electric. We have home games, obviously, and everyone comes out for it. Everyone's going to home games. The tailgate atmosphere is amazing. And the cool thing about Penn State is everyone comes back. Like people, alumni that went here, students that even graduated three years ago there at the tailgate, everyone, everyone comes back for the games. It's so excited for football. Everyone is so excited for football games. Because our school is a football school. If you like it or not, it's a pretty big football school. We're back at East. East dorms. It's uh, small rooms, you and your roommate. The bathroom's either a community bathroom or a little private stall. But either way, the dining hall, is definitely the college experience. You only get your first year here at Penn State. Some colleges make you live in the dorms a couple years. Penn State just one year, you live in downtown. Either way, my number one tip, go to the dining hall every time like by yourself and sit down with a new group of people or you and your friends sit down with a whole new group of people. And the whole goal of like being college is person in person is meeting people. Meet as many people as you possibly can. And that's how you get the true college experience out of everything else because we're sitting in your dorm, we're ordering DoorDash to your door at your dorm. You're not really meeting anybody, so go out, meet as many people, especially when you're this tightly packed together up in the East. Great community, so college, next place. All right, this is one of the Penn State tour groups, and if you yell this, they have to yell back. We are! Let's go, baby! Get us get electric! <laughs> this is the hub. Also a good place to study. It's more social library and you can get food. I really like it because especially when it's sunny out, it's hubble on. It's a big grass here, you probably can't see it. But either way, people lay out there, place frisbee. Spike ball's a big thing here. And either way, there's an auditorium. Like there's like a little auditorium with the stage in here. Sometimes they have like little concerts. It's just a cool place. It's like the center of campus. A lot of people walking through here, even if they're not stopping to get food. And good place to be. Great place to be. Next place. Yeah. Let's, start, let's talk about some party scenes here. You know, Penn State obviously parties. This is a frat house. You know, they all like look cool. Goldilocks and three bears a little bit. Can I see it? Either way, there's three types of parties at Penn State. 
if you're under 21. If you're over 21, you go to the bars. And yes, you gotta wait until you're 21, because they actually checked at the door. Regardless, three types of party if you're under 21 at Penn State. Apartment parties, you're good. House parties, also good. And there's frat parties. It's like the movie, I like it, it's fun. A lot of people, big speakers, lights. Same thing with the house parties too. And apartment parties are fun, usually a pregame or something, or um, any of that, but number one thing when you come here, just join join something. It doesn't have to be Greek life. It doesn't have to be a frat or sorority. It could be a ski club. It could be any club. Because you have because you find a group of people and you're hanging out with each other and every club has its own little get-togethers or parties, say the less. So join something. Even Thon has its parties. The Thon groups, the Thon organizations have their own parties. Just join anything when you come here. Find a group of people. Go to the dining hall by yourself, find someone to sit down next, next to you, make friends, meet people, and again, join something where you're having fun, how, where your social calendar is overbooked, because that's what you want to do in college, be doing everything you can, because you only get four years of it, and after that, on to the next, like we're about to do, on to the next, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> on top of this, do you gotta say, everyone here is like friendly, honestly, like, you'll meet a couple people that just don't want to talk, but rare occasion, man, most of the time, people are down to be your friend as much as you are to them. So keep an open mind, especially when you're at Penn State. Let's talk a little bit about downtown. So you live in one of these downtown apartments. Some are skyscrapers, like look at this one up here. And then you got your bar scene, right next to your P-Mans. And again, you have to be 21 to be coming to a bar like this, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It makes, makes you turn 21. It makes it mean something more, especially at this college. I don't even know if there's a lot too many colleges like this where you has to be 21 to go to the bars, but honestly, I love it. I think it's, I think it's like how it should be in America, you know. And either way, and this is a cool bar, like where all the cool kids go. I'm not 21, so like, I'm not one of those cool kids, but that's okay. Either way, everyone after their first year, pretty much, I'd say 95% of people I know live downtown, and you can do whatever you want. You can sign a lease with your friends and literally do whatever you want. It's, it's the best. And you could go. Leases from 1300 to 700. We're looking at two buildings right here, depending on how big your area wants to be, how many people you live with. Hey, the, the amount you pay varies, but at the same time, what doesn't vary is that you'll have a good time living in downtown State College. Downtown. Let's go. You get to this point in your career when you start to realize that you get a limited time. You gotta make purposeful advantage every second you have. So I'm not saying I did everything I told you to do, but I wish I did. I give you this advice, not because I regret I never had it, it's because I wish you did. Make the most of your college experience, because it's today, not tomorrow. Let's go. And you turn on the light to the room that you're now leaving, and you'll think you wish you did some things. You'll think you wish you did some things. And, uh, that's totally understandable. But we're clean up mode now, and we're looking at the years of the past, and just make the most of your opportunities. I wish you could be the best student at whatever college you go to, if it's Penn State or wherever you go. Because you can always make a big school small, but you can't always make a small school big. But at Penn State, it's a big school, and you can make as small as you want. But you meet the right people, especially if you go to a school this big. I like to leave it at that. Your decision is yours. <laughs> All right. All right.